Hello there, a very good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. We're back on Welsh Grand National Day. We've already seen some very impressive performances, especially Dysert Dynamo. He can jump a fence pretty well, but we're back talking about the big race. And before we get into that, just our recent form. Our last two videos, we've had an 18 to 1 winner. And then the Boxing Day that placed at 7-1. to one. I did tip it up each way, so there was a little bit of a return on that. He just kind of maybe was a little bit too far back in a slowly run race. He's definitely one to stick in the tracker off a mark of 111 is Galahad Thorypud. But on to the Welsh Grand National. And it's a race where it's a very competitive race, 4-1. to one the field quick wave at four to one for venetia williams and charlie deutsch who this also definitely love the soft ground and was pretty impressive in the london national when winning off a mark of 140 it carries a four pound penalty for that and i think it's one that should definitely go close but the only reason i am avoiding this one is it's only ran 24 days ago it came back from a long break nearly a year off the track and I think sometimes second time out it was a huge run first time out he did win easily but that would have t taken something out the tank I just don't think he's going to be fully primed for today's effort he's got a four pound penalty he is well in on the handicap but I just think he's a little bit opposable he's got quite a big weight of 11 stone 9 as well second favourite is going to be one of two selections for me in this horse, ask me early, Harry Fry. Now this horse has definitely been targeted for this horse from a long way out. He's always he made his debut over three miles in a novice hurdle, so that showed how much stamina he has. That was as a, as a five year old, so he's always going to be one that I love this trip and he hasn't really had this marathon test ever in his career. The furthest he's run over is three miles two furlongs, steps up to three miles six and whilst he's not proven over this trip I think he's going to love this stamina test. 11 stone three, that's a nice enough work. Sean Bowen takes that. He's got plenty of experience in big races like this and it was a decent third behind Lamillos who were of the Harry and Dan Skeltons. That horse went on to win a very nice handicap at Newbury, won the Coral Gold Cup handicap. That was a 250,000 race, and he was only about 10, 12 lengths behind this horse on the reappearance, over three miles. He wasn't given the toughest of times, but he jumped well, he travelled well, and probably got a little bit tired later on. Um, steps up in trip, he's definitely been targeted for this race. I think he's going to stay all day. Jumps well, there's nothing not to like about this horse, and he'll be my first each way to nothing selection in the race. My other one comes at a big price, but before we get into that, probably one of the interesting horses is the big Boykaway, who had bundles of ability, he hasn't really shown it in recent years. He's down to a handicap mark of 148. Brendan Powell takes the ride. I'm expecting a nice positive ride on this one, and he did run very well at Haydock. He was just touched off in the um, big Betfair Exchange handicap at Haydock. That was over a month ago. He's had plenty of time to get over that. And he was beaten by a Venetia Williams horse who was probably very well handicapped. I think it was her first winner in quite a while, but that was definitely well handicapped and unexposed. That was a very good one, pulled clear of the third as well. Is up a couple of pounds for that, four pounds for that effort, which might be a little bit tough. But if the big broke away is on a going day, then he's going to take some stop and he'll probably be out in front and whether he can stay there for the full trip that's another question but he's one to keep an eye on for sure musical slave is one that looks to be targeted for this as well china had a nice winner yesterday with time hill as well but my other selection is a horse i've backed in this race for the past couple of years now the two amigos who's got an absolute feather where 10 stone six jockey takes off some weight as well and he's down to a handicap mark of 127 and he's running this race very well twice off marks of 142 and he hasn't done too much wrong to get down 15 pounds in the handicap he he was um second in this race in last year behind secret reprieve was in front of Yali Enki Prime Venture Captain Drug, some very good horses that day. That was off a mark of 142 and 10 stone 9. He goes off a mark of 127, carries even less weight, the least weight is ever carried in this race. And he's one who jumps well, he stays all day, he'll relish the soft, soft ground. He's even run over further than this, he's run over 4 miles at Exeter as well when finishing 4th in the Devon National. So there is plenty to like about this horse. He's down to a mark of 127. I don't think he's done a 
a whole lot long to drop down that far in the handicap. I was certainly surprised when I saw him down to that mark. He finished third at Haydock, beat an 11 lengths behind St. Javier, and that wasn't the worst run of all time. I think he was coming to win his race, and he got a little bit tired. He's one that improves first to second and second to third time out. This is his third run of the season. He is 10 now. He knows what this is all about. He will be kind of blown out the water by the early pace and the first couple of fences. He'll jump well. He'll sit prominently. Whether he's well enough handicapped to win this on his old form, he definitely could be. He could be chucked in. He definitely is going to love this test. There's 17 runners. He comes in as horse number 17. Bottom where 18 to 1 in the market. He's going to be a play for me as well. So it's going to be Ask Me Early at 5 to 1 each way and also the Two Amigos each way at 18 to 1. One that I should worth noting is Roginia Dracones for how he copped and takes the ride. That has been gambled from about 66 to 1 all the way into 20 to 1. Is an Irish loader and one to keep an eye on. But the Two Amigos and Ask Me Early for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment this, that and the other. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.